Ever wonder how you can get your eye makeup off naturally, easily using Young Living Essential Oils? I'm going to show you really quick how to make this simple DIY that's going to cost you less than $5 and it's great for your skin and it's easy to make. I'm making a whole bunch for my open house next week so I'll have those available just to purchase or I'm going to teach you right now how to do it and you can do it yourself. So I'm going to get a measuring cup here. I've got distilled water and I'm going to fill it up to a cup. Then I'm going to take fractionated coconut oil, organic preferably if you can get it, virgin even better. This one's even GMO free and it's awesome. So I'm going to do one tablespoon of the fractionated coconut oil in there. The next thing I want to add is just some um, witch hazel. Witch hazel is going to allow the essential oils and the water and oil and everything to mix that I just put in there. If I don't put it in there, the oil and the water won't mix and then you're going to get all the oil floating to the top and you definitely don't want that. So I'm doing one teaspoon of the witch hazel. Then the essential oil that I've chosen to put into this is lavender, orange, and geranium. So all three of these are really great for your skin. I'm going to put three drops of each. Lavender is really great for dry skin, keeping it um, fresh looking, and it's very soothing. Orange is just awesome for your skin as well. It's kind of like, um, we have an orange blossom facial wash that uh, is, is excellent for your skin as well, but I love the smell of the combo, plus the orange is really uh, nutritious for your skin. It just feeds it lots of vitamins. It's great. And then geranium is wonderful. It just helps give you that beautiful glow on your skin and it keeps it looking young. It's in a lot of um, facial products that you buy in the store. So I've got that in there. So I've got my one cup of distilled water, one teaspoon of witch hazel, one tablespoon of fractionated coconut oil, and then three drops each of lavender, orange, and geranium essential oil. So I just mix that all together and that's what it looks like. So now it's all mixed up. So now I've got just little mason jars. You can get these at the dollar store. These ones in particular, they're like actually for canning and I got them from, I think, Home Hardware or Walmart or somewhere like that. In this container, I have figured out that 18 pads is ideal. So if you have a bigger jar, you can put more in there. And these are just those um, cotton round pads. I get these ones at Costco. You get them in a huge container. So this is the part that's a little tricky and you just have to have some patience but you're going to slowly pour this over. So if you're doing this size of jar, I believe it's about uh, 125 mil, so maybe like a half a half a cup worth of liquid or a half yeah, half a cup. So I made a cup so I can make two of these. So if you have a a smaller jar and you only want to make a little bit, then I mean, you're going to use the amount of water just half that recipe, but I'm making a whole bunch so I'm doing a cup at a time. And I'm just trying to get it to absorb. So you just slowly pour it in there. And you're going to see it slowly. The pads are going to absorb all the liquid. It's going to go to the bottom. But they do stay nice and moist. They do smell terrific. And then when you're all done and it's absorbed, your jar looks like this. They've fully absorbed in there. And they stay nice and moist. And they're always ready to use and you can just keep reusing that jar. So there's your pad. So you just grab one, clean your skin, and then give yourself a nice little rinse when you're all done. And you've got an easy, effective, healthy, natural way to remove your eye makeup. And it's going to make your skin look great. Some other essential oils that you could actually add to that recipe if you don't like the blend that I was using. Uh, you can use frankincense. That's really great for your skin. Another one is called Gentle Babies, which is sounds like it's for babies, but it's actually got rose oil and a whole bunch of other ones. It's really great for mom and for baby. So I personally love that one on my skin. So that's another blended oil you could use in there. And... Um, Really anything, Progestins uh, Phyto Plus is a wonderful serum that we have available for women that is like a balancer for your hormones. So that's another one that you could put in there and that is absolutely safe to put on your face. It's actually one of the only serums in the world that's created like that with essential oils that you can put on your face. I wear that for perfume every single day. And um, you know, really any kind of oil that you love, patchouli, 
geranium, bergamot, any of those that are great for your skin or you like the smell of, you can put those in there. Now, if you get an essential oil in your eye, because you do want to be careful with your eye, we were using a small amount there, but if it does feel like it's red or it's maybe burning a little or something like that, or, you know, sometimes I've put peppermint on my skin for other reasons and by accident I've touched my eyes afterwards because the oil is still on my hands. The best way to get oil out of your eye is not flushing it with water. That will actually make it worse. You just want to take a carrier oil. So you could come to your counter and grab your fractionated coconut oil, olive oil, um, you know, any, any oil, avocado oil, whatever you have. I've been in the car and I've even used just a chapstick and you just put it around your eye and within a couple of minutes it will actually pull the essential oil out and then you just wipe it off. So, but this is totally safe and fine for your eye and um, try it and see if you like it. Don't forget Wednesday, November 30th, I've got my Christmas open house here. It's a blue spruce kind of Christmas, it's called. It's from 1 until 8 p.m. drop-in style. We've got 11 different vendors here with awesome products for both men and women. My friend Cheryl will be here playing the piano and playing us some Christmas music as well. Lots of goodies, lots of snacks, so make sure you drop in. Tell your friends, bring your friends. There is an event page I'll post below so you can see what it's all about and where it is. We're at 376 Maple Ave South in Burford, so hope to see you there and enjoy your iPads.